Jez from Windows Central here with some thoughts on Battleborn for Xbox One and PC. <laughs> Battleborn is Gearbox Software's take on the first person MOBA, combining elements of Borderlands and hero based games like League of Legends. Beyond its bot laden PvP modes, Battleborn also features a campaign mode full of missions that play out similarly to Destiny Strikes and other linear RPG dungeons with the occasional boss fight. Battleborn is an ambitious attempt to hybridise elements of various genres. However, I'm concerned that their diffuse approach to the game's aspects could harm its chances against competing titles that spend more time polishing a smaller feature set. On visuals, Battleborn takes cues from Borderlands with a colourful cartoony art style with an edge of comedy. Battleborn's 25 playable heroes are diverse and well designed and should cater to everyone's taste both aesthetically and in combat. While there isn't a great deal of variety in the game's PvP maps and the campaign mode suffers from copy and paste and colour swapping syndromes, Battleborn's art gives it distinction in an increasingly competitive crowd. Speaking of competition, Battleborn's meat is in its gameplay, which offers a wide variety of different modes, light loot mechanics, and a dizzy multiplex of unlocks and XP grinding. As you move through Battleborn's various progression systems, you unlock new Battleborn heroes, colour swaps, equipable gear mods, and interesting lore items. I'm sure you'd give them hell, kiddo, and when you're a little bit older, you'll get your chance. Older? Dude! I'm 26! Both PvP and the campaign feed into a single progression system which gives Battleborn a rewarding slant. The campaign mode feels a little grindy at times, particularly given that the hero's abilities seem tuned for PvP balance rather than PvE fun, but it does give the game's lore much needed depth, a feature often lacking in MOBA type games. PvP is definitely Battleborn's strong point, closely mimicking League of Legends strategic tug of war combat through a first person lens. I would have liked to have seen more maps per game mode, but mastering each of the game's playable heroes offers variety in its own right. The worst thing about Battleborn on Xbox One is its engine. A modern competitive shooter shouldn't suffer from basic problems like getting stuck in dodgy terrain or being killed due to punishing model collisions. The game languishes at around 30 frames per second on Xbox One, which given the reactive nature of the game's combat is less than ideal. Battleborn simply doesn't feel as fluid as other shooters out there. When Battleborn is firing on all cylinders, it does provide extremely satisfying and exciting PvP and PvE moments, and there is a ton of content to chew through. I just wish that content was a little more polished. I've been Jez for Windows Central, you can follow me at Twitter at Jez Corden, and check out the full review in the description. Thanks for watching guys. Well, this is an arms depot, and those are loader arms. <laughs> Pretty cool, right?